Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to this week's video. So last week I teased you with some very nice inks and ta-da! Here we are, the inks for this week's video. So before we start the usual spiel, this video is not sponsored by Ferris Wheel Press. However, I am part of their ambassador artist program, which means I get these goodies beforehand and I get to share them with you. And I also have a discount code that you can use on your next Ferris Wheel Press purchase, even on top of all the discounts they've been having this whole month, which is Bia Ibishku Art, but they're not paying me. All of the opinions are my own. Grab your nice beverage. I have here some nice peppermint tea and let's get started. So some of you were very sneaky and already, already knew on the comments on the last video that I was going to talk about the land of Shangri-La so to keep you on the edge a bit more, we're going to talk about it last. So this one is the Atlas Iron Ore, which is already out and I believe it's at the moment out of stock, but they usually restock it pretty soon uh, after they go out of stock, so you probably don't need to worry a lot. Is basically the last of their Curious Collaboration series. And this is on the Atlas Stationers, which is the largest Chicago and most historic independent stationery store. Store. I, this is a lot of. Sh I cannot say. <laughs> this is based on that store, and it has beautiful, uh, like glass stained panels on the windows here, and this is all silver foiled. Yeah, we have. Ooh, <laughs> we have a little cow being very mischief here and breaking stuff pretty much just the storefront of the store but let me quickly check the little blurb here so basically this is a iron black with silver shimmer and the characteristics are classic mature and historic so I think it might be quite nice to have a black it's in the image it seems to be a very like a muted black which I quite like the the roaring black patina was more of a blue black so I'm quite excited to see a more black black <laughs> if that makes every, any sense. So let's open this guy up and let's see. Okay, so I can see the glitter. Ooh, here you can see. I think you can see. Yeah, you can definitely see there the glitter. It very much looks like the night sky, which is quite pretty. The glitters have been super subtle inside the bottle, but, uh, but I think it's just because we've been having darker muted colors, so they don't show as much. When it's a lighter color, it's just a sea of glitter, so that's why it's not being shown as much. But it is looking very nice. So that is our first ink, and let me put it here to the side. And now, get into the Shangri-La. So basically, this is in collaboration with Shangri-La Hotels in Canada. These, these, two, these two inks are part of a collaboration with other places in the world, so Chicago and Canada, which is quite nice. So basically, they created this collection, which is also going to be represented in a, tw a 14 gold nib carrot brush, fo brush fountain pen, and also a new custom hardcover for Sketchbook A5. They created a whole new collection surrounding this design, which is quite nice. It looks like it has lots of oriental designs. Let me just quickly check here. The hotel is known for the distinct modern shi, Shinoi... Wait, let me try and read this. Shinoi... Shinoi Siri? Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> let me know. And five-star hospitality. We capture the answers of their properties by bringing life the mythical paradise that inspired their identity, as well as the iconic landmarks that char characterize these two Canadian cities where Shangri-La resides. So basically it resides in Vancouver and Toronto. I don't know if this any of this information interests you. I just really find interesting to see what brought inspiration for the ink. That's why I always like to mention the blur, but do let me know if that information is something you don't really care about because I really find it interesting. So the ink tone is an ashy brown with champagne shimmer. So not for gold. Not gold, not silver, champagne simmer. So I'm quite excited. And it's earthy, natural, and grounding. So let me give you close-ups of the box. We have this nice statue. I think these are like lions, I think, the traditional Chinese lions. 
I have some very beautiful, which I believe to be magnolias, which are one of my favorite flowers. Another carding lion and the same in the back. So yeah, I think these are magnolias. They're very pretty. Let's see how this guy looks. Okay, can't really see any glitter at all. So yeah, I cannot see anything i can kind of see a little green hint on the bottle but glitter nothing it's very well hidden so this is either a really dark tone or it's just a fine glitter that i cannot even see it but look at that green in the in the glass that looks like a super nice that's my type of green <laughs> neon lime type of thing i just i don't know i like greens that are more yellow so I'm excited. We have these two colors that I think might create a very nice color palette. Oh yeah, let me try and do... Yeah, I'm going to leave it on its side for just a bit. And hopefully that will give us the show of the glitter. So the glitter is going to be down on this one. And yeah, that way we might be able to see some of the glitter, at least at the Shangri-La on the Atlas. It's quite visible. So let's see, I think on the Atlas should be fine already. Yeah, here is all the glitter. It's a nice silver one. Not my favorite type of glitter, I prefer more warm glitters, but in some inks it does look very nice and I think in this type of black it makes sense that it's silver. Let's see the Shangri-La, I'm not sure. Okay, here it is super fine and it's already going away so yeah it's <laughs> it's quite a subtle one these two are our inks for today i'm going to quickly get my paper and we can start swatching so it started raining a lot while i got <laughs> all the supplies it's really one of those days a sketchbook that I usually do my swatches and I honestly don't really know the paper that's in here because it was a friend of mine that made this sketchbook but I honestly really like it so as last video I'm going to be using a glass dip pen to write in this ink so we can see how it looks two brushes I have water and I have a napkin so let's start with the atlas why not here we go let's just shake it well e Make sure we get all the glitter. Visual, we have a little stopper. Quite excited for this one. Ooh, it's like a truer black. Oops. <laughs> it's like a much uh, truer black than Midnight. No, Roaring Black Batina. Still has a bit of blue undertone but it's just a lot more black i think it's it's actually very very pretty let me try and do a more diluted pass yeah it definitely has hints of blue but it's a very like iron slash steel blue and the glitter is very noticeable which is nice so I'm just going to leave this one as it is, quite simple. And let's use the dip pen. To write here. I think this ink kind of has a smell to it. They usually don't really have a smell to them, but this one has a bit of a nostalgic smell, which is weird. Kind of reminds me of like, <laughs> you know those Play-Dohs we used to use as kids? I think that's what it smells like and I got it all over myself. But I'm sparkly. Can you see the sparkles in my finger? <laughs> I'm all sparkly now. And now let's go with the Shangri-La quite curious with this one let's see how that goes again shake it a lot 
Shake, shake, shake. Open that up. Always holding it, these jars. I love the thinner jars for storage, but boy, am I scared to drop them. Ooh. I quite like the color. It's those type of muted greens. Hmm. I like it. Curious to see what I'm gonna do with these two. It's just a very muted palette. The easy thing would be to just use the green for like shading and stuff and then use the atlas for... Uh, for like... <laughs> I'm missing the words for line art. Ooh, it kind of wants to have... Maybe it's just me that's seeing it, but kind of wants to have a pink undertone. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it looks, shows more on per, in person. Ooh, they do flow beautifully. Uh, but yeah, it kind of wants to have more of pinkish undertone, like in the back of the paper. Kind of wants to have that vibe. But honestly, I like it. Cannot see any of the glitter so far. So let's see how that goes. In the Atlas one, it's much more noticeable. Yeah, you can, like, let me see if I can show you. Can you see that this little cap thing has a bit of a pink underneath? Like there? Like has a little pink halo. There, you can see. So I think this ink actually has a bit of a pink undertone. So looking closely, you can definitely see the glitter in the atlas, like all of that is glitter. So I'm quite excited. This is actually being very beautiful. I love like black inks that separate in yellow. Love, love that. So atlas is very much gaining points on my book. Shangri-La, I honestly cannot really see the glitter that much. Hopefully it will show up more once it's dry. Yeah, let's do the writing because I completely forgot. All that with one dip. <laughs> Glass dip pens, man. So yeah, this is it so far. Again, as usual, you probably don't really see a lot of sparkles because of the light that I'm using. It does not really do, doesn't do any justice to the glitters when it comes to showing them. So I'm going to let this dry, hopefully catch some sunlight in the next few days, hours, we'll see. Today is Thursday and this video is going up on Tuesday. So hopefully till then there's a little bit of sun. But yeah, I'm going to start brainstorming on what I'm going to draw and I'll see you in the voiceover for the demo art. So as you can see in the sun, they have a lot more sparkle and still the Shangri-La is a bit more subdued since it's a champagne color, but still very nice and magical. The sparkle doesn't show a lot in these inks. In the previous ones, in my previous video, they showed a lot more. In this one, they're a lot more subdued, but the color is very, very nice to write with. So I did a bunch of sketches for what I would do for this illustration. I was thinking it would be cool to do like a statue with moss, but I was just not finding the right pose. I had a very specific idea in my head and I was just not being able to translate it into paper. And I remember that the Shangri-La actually kind of has more of a like serpent vibes. So I decided to do like a hand with a snake, which fun fact sucks for me because I'm actually terrified of snakes. So whenever I'm looking for references of snakes, I always look for drawings because I just cannot look at pictures of snakes. They creep me out so much. I've already touched one in my life. That is plenty. I done my part. I've tried my best to overcome my fear. Didn't work. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just really cannot deal with snakes. Reptiles in general, not really my thing. Uh, like lizards and all that stuff just ugh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. But yeah, I wanted to have some fun with the inks and just let them flow. Being fully honest here, I actually love them both and I cannot pick a favorite for this selection of inks. They're both very strong inks and 
they have so many qualities like the atlas iron it's so so beautiful it separates in a very soft way all the like blacks in fairy steel press do have a very blue base which i don't mind i do enjoy it but it would be nice to have one day a true true black so yeah the atlas iron is a beautiful like blue gray and it kind of does remind me of steel so it does look very appropriate and the shangri-la is just so so nice and it does have like a pinkish base i had it on my fingers like from painting and you could definitely see like the pink base underneath so i really enjoy that and just the color itself is super super nice it's the type of green that i really enjoy and yeah both the sparkles are not crazy but when it came to the line art <laughs> it really popped i had this issue as well I believe it was with the first fairy tales drawing because all three inks are shimmer and so when you try to overlay shimmer with shimmer it just kind of creates a mess because I just couldn't really properly um, do an overlay with these inks because if I overlaid a lot of ink it would just be shimmer in the end so I couldn't do like glazing or stuff like that and you can see there on the fingers it's just full of sparkles and I already did line art there but it couldn't really be able to see like you could see it like here uh, no problem while it's wet once it dries it's just shimmer so <laughs> painting looks very different from a few angles you can still see a bit of a line art but in some angles it's just full glitter <laughs> So my approach to this was actually to do some of the line art with the Shangri-La instead of the Atlas Iron because even though it would dry in glitter, it would be a different shade, at least had a little bit of tint of green, actually dries in a... like the glitter has a green shift. I don't know if it's because it's overlaid on top of the green, but it's very, very interesting and you can see it in some spots when I shine the light on it. So that was my solution. It's still a bit of a mess when it comes to a few lights because you just can't see glitter, but I am quite happy with this one. And uh, just a heads up, I might be doing an original sale on my Instagram during this week or the next one, depending on my time. So if you want to get one of these originals that I've been doing with the Ferris Wheel Press inks, do check out my Instagram because I'll be doing the sale there on my stories and leave it on a highlight. So yeah, that way you can get one your hands on one of these. But in the end, I really do not have a preferred ink for this video. I just really like them both. They are very strong inks on different departments and I just really love them. I cannot wait to use them more. I think I'll get a lot of use out of these two, especially the Shangri-La. I just, it's rare that I really like a green. <laughs> And I've, they've been coming out with a few greens that I do enjoy. So I'll give them a gold star on that department. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, I might not be able to do a video, but I'll let you guys know in the community tab because it's just going to be quite crazy in December. It's already been crazy since November. <laughs> crazy times, guys, all crazy times. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know which of these do you prefer or are you like me and you like both. Don't forget, you can use the code BEBISCOART to get 10% off your next Ferris Wheel Press purchase and also support my creative journey. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!